No fewer than 50 school girls of the Federal Government Girls College, FGGC, Yola, have pledged to champion an advocacy against gender-based violence in Adamawa State. The students made the pledge on the sidelines of a one-day workshop on gender and social norms for girls in selected schools in the state. The project, which targets 250 school girls, is organized by the Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development in conjunction with Spotlight Initiative. Some of the students pledged to take the new message outside the school walls, as according to them, they serve as the impediment towards the realization of personal goals of members of the society. Gender-based violence comes in different cases. You see whereby a lady wears short clothes, short, short mini skirts, and goes out into the society, and it can attract the opposite sex and which can lead to rape. And in the rape, in the essence of the rape, it can cause unwanted pregnancy. Okay, for those that are being perpetrated by their close relatives, it is more advisable that children should not be left alone at home with close, close relatives of opposite sex, because you don't know what may happen at any time. Temptations may come at any time. Parents should be listening, to have listening ears to their children, because sometimes the children do not know how to avoid it. But when the, the parents educate their children, they will be able to avoid it when it comes their way. Appreciating the organizers, the school's vice principal said that the gesture could not have come at a better time. Tanimu urged the girls to pay attention to details for maximum impact. I'm sure this, uh, the, school, the school has a, a club for this sensitization on this, so they are going to enlighten us more on this. Also speaking, District Head of Jury, Hamad Mustafa, thanked the foundation and all its partners for their effort at curtailing gender-based violence in the state. I understand that uh, we have a GBB uh, club in the school, so we educate you more on GBB, as it starts you on the causes, the effects, and the consequences of this violence against women and girls in our society. He said girls must understand what constitutes gender-based violence in order to be able to guide against being victims of the scourge. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.